Hey guys, my name is Joe, and you're watching Jamway TV. If this is the first time here with us, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Um, so today, I'm actually going to um, smash a mukbang. And this is an interesting mukbang that took, I don't know, like 1,600 miles, 1,600 miles, which is, I don't know, probably 17,000 kilometers or something. But this is a special, special mukbang because we don't have this restaurant here in Michigan, but my brother Johnny and two of my best friends, Jake and Neil, put this package together for me and shipped it. Look at this box. Pretty much Fort Knox on this box. Maybe you can see what's happening in this box. If you can recognize that portion of the logo there. And look at this, got some high quality sauces, just a little bit of leakage, you know, traveling those 17,000 kilometers, more sauces, all tightly taped. Look at this bag of food right here. Got one bag of food, two bags of food, three bags of food. So all in all, this is what I'm working with. Ah! Yeah, buddy. This is gonna be an epic mukbang. As long as I can eat it, let me warm it up and see if it's all right. I'll tell you in a little bit why it might not be okay. I decided I'm just gonna unbox it here. So dinner tonight, if it's still good. Torchy's Tacos! If you ever had Torchy's Tacos in the Dallas area, I guess there's one random one out in Colorado too, but um, Torchy's Tacos is one of my favorite tacos. It's just like a street taco um, place. They're right. Okay, so what we got, got a bag of tacos. I don't know if you've ever opened up a bag of tacos with a pocket knife before, but that's all we do. Okay, so in this bag, we got the Torchy's Taco of the Month here. The Taco of the Month, this is for February, and for February, the Taco of the Month is the Scallywag, and that's why it was so important to me to get these tacos delivered uh, before the end of February, because they don't have them except in February. I only ordered three different tacos, technically four different tacos because uh, one taco I ordered, two corn for Alicia, it's called Tipsy Chick, which is this one. And then I ordered green chili missionary style. And then I ordered 10 of these tacos of the month, which are the scallywags. All right, I'm gonna put these out on the plates and warm them up and show them to you. All right, so I just got done warming it all up and this is what we're doing tonight. We're doing 10 tacos. Six of them are taco of the month, which is called Scallywag. Um, and then we have two over here that are the Tipsy Chick and then we have two more that are called the Green Chili Missionary Style, I think is what it's called. So first we have the Tipsy Chick and that is this one right over here, this delicious this delicious little baby there. Um, and the ingredients are right there. Next, we have the green chili pork. Ooh, meh. And the ingredients are right, are right there. Finally, we have what I have been waiting for, for so long, for a full year now. This is called the scallywag. The main thing in the scallywag is the habanero peach jam, as well as these are fried shrimp right here. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start with the missionary right here. So the missionary, green chili pork with some pickled onions. That's what the purple stuff is, the pickled onions. And it is... So good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Got it sauce. Life is not okay without the sauce. Okay. I'm not exactly sure which sauce 
my brother Johnny sent me. And if you haven't seen Johnny eat, Johnny's actually in that video right there with one of his best friends from middle school who runs Best Ever Food Review Show. I think we've talked about him several times on here, but I think this might be the, I don't know, maybe it's the Chipotle sauce or Diablo sauce, not sure. <laughs> okay. I gotta tell you, this story is crazy. So, mm, you know, okay, I'm not supposed to be eating this much, but I'm trying to finish all 10 of these. The only chance I have is to speed up and eat quickly. Anyway, Johnny did a video with one of his best friends named Sonny B on Best Ever Food Review Show. They reviewed a few places in Texas. And this is also from Texas. I wasn't kidding when I said these tacos came from like 1,500 or 2,000 miles away. I don't know, it's something like that. Maybe it's not that far. Yeah, about 1,500 miles. 17,000 kilometers. Oh. There's a tipsy chip. What you can see is the spinach, the corn, the cheese. Looks like some green chilies up in there. Oh, nice heat. Nice heat, nice heat. <laughs> Look at that corn. There we go. Mm-hmm. There it is. So here's the story. Every year that I was in Texas, I would compete against two friends, Matt Hill and Dustin Norris, on how many of these we could eat in the month of February. Man, so good. I didn't get any extra habanero peach jam, but just take a look and admire that taco from 2,000 miles away. That's what a shrimp taco is supposed to be like. Mmm. I think there's some bacon in there. I don't even know. It's just a blessing. But I would compete against Matt. Well, I'd compete against anybody, but nobody really wants to eat as many of these tacos as I do. Um, so this year, on February 1st, Dustin Norris sent me a picture that he was having two of these. Mmm. I'm not hatched in my mind. This idea that maybe my brother could hook me up and send me a box of tacos. So I ordered 20 tacos. 10 of these. And then five tipsy chicks. What is this sauce? What is this sauce? Maybe this is the jalapeno jam. Oh my goodness. This might be the jalapeno jam right here. Hmm. This is the bacon marmalade that goes with the tipsy chick. Probably still good, but it's not the jalapeno. Ah, the habanero bacon jam. Ah, the, ha ha the habanero peach jam. Give you another quick view of that. Um. And then two days later, Matt Hill sends me a message saying he ate like three or four. Oh, like, okay. Hey, mom, bros, I'm going to try and get 10. So that's what this is, me trying to get 10. Well, 10 before the end of the month of February. I do feel bad that this video is not going to be posted in time for any of you people that live in Texas to go try Taco of the Month called the Scalabag. But... Maybe next year you can check check it out. I'll try and do it early next year. Early in the month of February. So here's the story about these. <laughs> and why I'm so happy. Number one, I asked my brother Johnny on, I don't know, February 5th. Hey, give me some tacos. 
I'm gonna cash app you. You send me some tacos. And he's like, yeah, I hook you up, bro. This might be gross. I hope it's not. It's a bourbon bacon, so and it can't be can't be gross, right? It's the bourbon bacon there. Hmm. Okay. I need some napkins. I need a drink. Can you give me a drink? Water, orange juice, come on my He said he was gonna ship me some. I'm like, oh sorry, I can't bro. Not today. Maybe next week. Okay. February 11th. Over 10. Hey, Johnny, can you ship me some tacos? Um, I got too busy. Maybe next week. Oh, okay. February 18th. Hey, Johnny, can you give me some tacos? I'm too busy. Oh. Okay. You got to ship it to me next week, which is a Friday. He says, I'm doing it. He buys them. Rachel, some Rachel I don't know. Packages them all up, puts them in a box. Thanks, Jake, Neil, and Johnny, and Shawnee, and all those guys at Hero Bullion. So then he ships it overnight. And here's the thing about UPS. When you choose overnight set delivery on a Friday, you have to click this little box. Boom. That says that it is okay to deliver on Saturday. Like, I just chose overnight delivery. Of course I want it on Saturday. If I wanted it on Monday, I would choose three-day delivery or something other than overnight delivery. Johnny did not check that box. Admittedly, it's a mistake I made like three weeks ago. So not that big of a deal, except that this is food. And so I was like concerned and it's shrimp. So I was concerned this is gonna be real bad and it might actually still be bad. But when I got here, I did the smell test. I just got here like an hour ago. I opened up the box. I was like, this is gonna be rotten as heck. I opened up the box, nope. Not pretty good. Eating it now, of course it's not as good as it is fresh. But man, for sitting in the mail for three days? <laughs> I ain't even admitting that. I'm eating tacos from Friday and it's Monday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, Monday, three days. But the box was all cold. Maybe just sat in the delivery truck all weekend or something because it was freezing. So I'm hoping that it was like in a refrigerator kind of. A natural refrigerator. Mm, mm, mm. Who knows? Maybe I got sick. But at least I beat Dustin and Matt. Because the other four of these that I can't finish tonight, I got to put those in the refrigerator so I can finish them tomorrow. Good thing I got so many sauces. Running out quick. Mm. Next time you buy these ta tacos from Torchies, make sure... We get extra peach habanero jam. That is the ticket. I mean, this Chipotle one is probably the next best one. I can't remember if it's called Chipotle or Diablo, but um, it's not that hot. Still delicious though. Mm. I'm so happy with torches right now. Man. And it could be just because I miss them so much. I haven't had torches in a year now. Man, six tacos. That's taking a lot out of me. I don't know if I can finish 10 tacos. I thought I'd be able to finish 10 tacos without a problem. My stomach's getting smaller because I've been eating less. Do you get tired of eating the same taco? The last February that I was in Texas, which was 2018, in my competition with Matt and Dustin, pretty sure I ate 28 of these tacos, of these scallywags. This guy take full advantage. Well, you can, because I mean, they're gone for a year. I just can't get them anymore. I can smash them when you got them. Bacon marmalade. Bourbon marmalade or something. Mm-hmm. Look at that yummy goodness. If you're like not into this kind of taco, who cares? Just get yourself a taco. Taco Tuesday is tomorrow. Just get yourself a taco. Oh, oh big bird. That was a big bite. That's what I was trying to say. All right, I can't finish. Slightly embarrassing, but I've had five of these now. I'm gonna go to the Tipsy Chick with the bourbon sauce just for real quick taste.
because that's how it's supposed to be eaten. Okay. Come on, bourbon. Come on, bacon. Come on, get out there. Come on, bourbon. All right, just some bacon. Ooh, it's like still cold. See, that's how you know it's good. It's still cold. Mmm, bacon. Bourbon, bacon, tipsy, chick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. This is better. When this thing's fresh, that's a 10. Tipsy chick, when it's fresh, that's a 9. 8.7. Missionary, it's 8.9. When it's fresh. Even though these were in the mail for three days, which I do not recommend in the summertime, but in the wintertime, it feels like it's just fine. Unless you guys, like, See Queen Felicia post my funeral announcements or something. You know what happened. It was the scallywag. It was actually my poor decision making. That's what it was. Mm. Okay. Mm. Enough of this. The point is, a scallywag is one great friggin' taco. I hope you guys can enjoy torchies sometime. We go visit Dallas, go to torchies. Go to Velvet Taco. Heck, call up my brother. He'll take you to some places. So a special shout out to Hero Bullion. These guys are the guys where you can get all of your bullion needs taken care of. HeroBullion.com. They sell gold and silver and copper bullion. You can invest as little as $5 in some silver. Uh, maybe it's 10 bucks in silver all the way up to a yeah, million dollars. Um, these guys are ready to help you. They're my best friends and my brother. So I fully, highly endorse them. And I uh, can't say enough great things about the character of these men. Uh, these are great dudes uh, and who will help you in your precious metals investment needs. Check them out. My name is Joe. You watch Shamley TV. This is mukbang number 46 or number 47. We're almost to 50. So excited. Manuilaso. Faso hua. Fuck.